Hello everyone, it's the Minecraft Brony here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up some projects. The first one I'm going to show you is some is a project that some people have been suggest or not suggesting, but it's asking how I set it up and saying that some things don't work. And that project is going to be Faded by Alan Walker and the project is by Atari Jin. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Apologize if I didn't pronounce the name right. Um, so I already have everything set up to my launchpad, but what you, what things are originally going to be mapped to is going to be mapped to the Mark II because that's what he saved the project as. So you're going to map that to your launchpad S if you have an S, if you have a Mark II, but I think everything will still be the same. But if not, then you can follow these things as well. Um, for a pro as well, you have to change all these things. So go, for your first lights one, go to the output of your launchpad. The glowing light one, which is the light that flashes, that it doesn't work for me. But if you're on the S, you just change it to the output of yours. And I believe if you're on the Mark II or Pro, you would change the channel to 3 to get the glowing light. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so after you've done that, you, you will have to, if you're on an S, go to your mini mappings. And map them to the side chain buttons. So the side chain buttons are the one uh, the buttons that are all down this side. Oh, forgot I had the mini on. Turn that over there. Okay. So what you're gonna do is press the mini button and go to down to the chain selector, which is this thing. And once you once you get over here, you're gonna have to click it. Press press the button that you want to want to map it to. Press and hold that button and press down to the bottom circle button on the launch pad. What you want to do is do that for all three of the light things. On the, on the light channels, there is no map onto the actual macro itself. It's mapped onto the actual chain. So what you're going to do is click that, then click on the top, and then click on the bottom again. Then you're going to do, and you're gonna have to do that for the last one as well. And that's pretty much all you have to do to set up like the lights and the sounds. And if you do it correctly, you should have you should have all the you should have all the all the light effects popping up on each page. And, and I failed at playing, but oh well. Once you do that, hopefully the project is working. Um, I have seen in the comments of my video that some people have done that, yet the lights are still working. Like all the all the pages have the first light, like the first page lights. But I don't know how to fix that if that's still the problem. But hopefully that fixed it for you. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all you have to set up. On, unless you want to do the tutorial thing, which is the last page here. Or last mini chain here. Whatever it's called. Um, you would have to change that to your your launch pad. And that's pretty much about it, I think, for setting up the tutorial part. So once you have that done, I'm pretty sure you can just press play and it'll play. The yeah. But other than that, that's pretty much all you really needed to set up that project. Um, and I'm going to jump to another project that some people might have trouble setting up or just that I'm thinking of. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this next one I'm going to help you set up is going to be Warriors by Imagine Dragons and Project by Sign of Music. Um, I played this project on my channel and yeah. I think some people might have had trouble setting it up, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, if Ableton crashes on you, I don't know how to help you there. I know you might need a better computer to run to open this project, but again, not 100% sure. Don't quote me on anything. Um, so, pretty much what you're going to do for this project is pretty much do the exact same thing you did on the last one, on the, during the faded one. 
And pretty much what you're going to do is map or put the mini from your launch pad. Because this one it has it like that, or you can put it to all channels if you want. But map, put this part onto your launch pad for launch pad input. And same for the output, put it to your launch pad. And do it for the same for the, the second light channel here. And after you've done all that, you can do the same thing with mapping. All the things to your launch pad. So click on to whatever one you want to do first, it doesn't matter which order you go in. I like to start from the left and go to the right. So what you want to do is click on your mini again. Click on the chain selector. Press the round buttons again and have it mapped to that and then you can just click to the next one. Click on the chain selector. Do it again. And the last one. Do that again and you're done mapping it. And everything should work properly. Yeah, if not, then I don't know. Yeah. And for me, when I was playing it in my video, um, there were some light effects that my launch pad actually couldn't handle. For, for an example, there's an, a rainbow effect on think the fourth page? Maybe... No, fifth. It's this one. Where it just goes on forever even though the thing is stopped. And then it glitches out like that. What I, what I did in the video is found the light effect in here. It's gonna go on the chain so it makes it a little bit easier. So, so right here. What I did was just muted the, muted it, and then, and so I don't have, didn't have that problem. Also during the course of this song, um, there was some uh, more light effects that my last bit couldn't handle. But the way that he programmed the project, there are, the sounds and the light effects aren't in the same button. So... On that one, the sound is there, but the light effect's there. So I think that's pretty much what he did for that one. Just all the sounds are on this side, and the light effect, all the other light effects, I think, are down here. Not 100 percent sure, but there's that one. Yeah. So, there's somewhere on the, on this, on this scatter of sides of other other effects. So how I played it was. Like that, because most, some light effects on here my launch pad couldn't handle. It. I'll play it with, um, with all the buttons being pressed. see everything's glitching out. So, yeah. So, how to really avoid that is just press um, some the certain buttons, or don't press the certain buttons that have the light effects, and then I think you'll be fine. How I did it was pressing these four. These four are fine, they don't have any light effects on them. Then pressing... all these four, then just then you should be fine with all the light effects and hopefully nothing glitches out too bad on you. And yeah, that's that one. Um, don't know really anything else that I can say. I think that's most of the projects that, or the, pro the one project that I got out of the way was Faded, which people were commenting how to really set it up properly and not getting the, the, first, the first page light effects on the other pages. Hopefully that covered that.
If not, then apologies. And yeah, that's pretty much all I want to use the show. I think I needed the show. If you have any more, if you have any comments on what else I should do, like, or if I wasn't clear enough on what I was saying, then feel free to comment and I'll try to answer as best as I can. And that's pretty much all I have to say for right now. So I'll see all you peoples in the next video. See ya.